Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. Y'all, today I'm going to show you how you can create product mock-ups using Kittle. And if you're new to Kittle, make sure you check the description box of this video so that you can get my discount code that'll save you 25% off your first month or first year of your paid plan, paid pro or expert plan. And of course, if you like this video, you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure that bell notification's on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. Right now for this project, what I'm showing you, the dimensions of your um, design thing doesn't really matter, but so i just took so i just chose the standard option when i hit new project right so i'm just going to go ahead and start off by uploading this image let me see i created this image like last year around my daughter's graduation it was for a chip bag right i'm not the best at product photography but i'm pretty good at making you a product right <laughs> but we know like our customers need that visualization you know I like to send the mock-ups for approval they can make some changes before they actually get the final product just help them visualize what it is that they're actually going to get so I'm not the best at doing mock-ups either right <laughs> so be able to go ahead and drag and drop them off of these mock-ups that are already in kiddo love that anything that makes my life easier i absolutely love okay so i have my image uploaded right if you have your image uploaded these are the options you're going to get so you just want to go ahead and just click off that right just click the background or click somewhere else so that you'll actually get this option right here mock-up so we're just going to go ahead and click it and uh so this was the last mock-up i was playing around with is the tumblr but y'all, Kittle has so many mock-ups available, like so many. You're honestly just going to have to get in here and just scroll and just kind of find what it is, you know, that you want. But they have tumblers, they have the t-shirts, of course, they have t-shirts on people, they have the flat lays, and if you scroll down even more towards the bottom, they have specific t-shirts. Uh, flat lace like they have Bella canvas comfort colors gildan um you know like if that's what you're offering to your customer it gives them just a, like i said a better visualization of what it'll look like on them um oh these bottles would be cute like if you do like a laser engraving or i don't know maybe even if you just make bottle labels this is a great option greeting cards books shorts i've never seen like short mock-ups but you know what never really paid never needed it so i never paid attention but that's a great option to have um let's see pants boxes packaging okay if you design cute packaging or whatever this is great i like the ones with the hands oh what's that like coffee bag or something that's cute that's cute um coasters business cards y'all so so many things okay but what i wanted to show you ooh, blankets i know right now for graduation season like those diploma graduation blanket things are actually kind of trending so this would be a good mock-up i mean if they're i don't think they're bad, that big but again just to uh, yeah i think they're like well i guess it just depends on what size you use but i like that they have different like this one is huge but this one's a little bit smaller i like how they have um different sizes available okay but anyway focus focus for y'all i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting distracted let me focus all right so let me go up here and i'm going to type in plastic oh here it is packaging plastic so here are some of the different packagings that they have and i'm just going to scroll until i find the one that here it is this looks like a chip bag doesn't it right it looks like it to me so let me just scoot that over get rid of that so it's not in the way and we're just going to go ahead you know what honestly let me let's go back to editor and i'm going to crop this let me just take that out for right take the sides out right now and let's just focus on the front let's make this a little bit bigger I find that when your uh, image is bigger it's easier to make the sizing adjustments on the mock-up okay so there we go BAM and we're just gonna size this to fit well, I'm going to size it to fit the whole thing. 
then I can make it a little bit smaller. But isn't that so easy? Literally five minutes. Maybe not even not even five minutes. Two seconds. Two second mock up. And this looks pretty realistic if you ask me. Like this was a great visual aid for them to just want to cover all that white. But okay, so let me show you. So I'm like, you know, fully covering it or whatever. But maybe if your design doesn't require, you know, call for it to be fully covered. Let me shrink this down a little bit. You can go right over here and change the back, the mock up color. And if you needed to match a color specifically and you don't know the color code, get this little eyedropper right here and I guess like put it to where you want and it's going to select the color for you. Let's see. And you can just change it. Change it to whatever color you need, right? Okay, so let me focus, focus. Y'all be distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. Now, honestly, I don't think I can. I mean, need a better mock up like this. I mean, like, unless you know how to use Photoshop and stuff, which I don't. <laughs> this was so. Doesn't that look nice? Th that looks very nice. That looks like a real chip bag, right? And so, once you're done with that, you just go ahead and download your mock up. Bam, just click over a button just like that and you're going to go ahead and download it, right? What does this button do? Save to uploads. Oh, okay. So, and so that would be the front, right? So let's go back to editor. Let's take the same picture that we just did. And let's just crop the sides. Let's crop that part out. Let's do it like that. Mm -hmm. Oops. Go back. Oh, okay, it was just hanging off. Let's duplicate this. Scoot it over, go back to crop, and let's get the other side. Okay, hit done. Now let's bring these together as one. Uh, let me see. Yep, that looks good. And let's group them together. I'm going to hit Control G on my um keyboard and that's just going to make them one piece. Okay, click off. Go to mock-up. And since we just used the chip bag mock-up, it's going to automatically um, load for us. And then we're just going to do the same thing. Stretch it to fit or change the color or you, you guys know the routine by now. And so now you can send your customer like a front and back um, product. We could scoot that over maybe a little bit. I mean, place it however you see fits. But bam, drag and drop so easy. And look how realistic, like it has like the little crinkles right here. It folds it, has like the um little seal part right there. Like, bro, that is so easy. And, and of course, you can just go ahead and download that mock-up as well. Okay, so now let's go back to the editor. And this same photo, him hit Control G again. And that's going to ungroup it. We could delete this one. We don't need it. Go back to crop. And let's go back to this just the picture. Is this not easy, you guys? I love things that are easy, okay? I have a lot to do. <laughs> and anything that's going to save me some time and a headache, I'm with it. Okay, so we have this part again. Let's go back to mock-up. And now we're just basically going to go ahead and do Tumblr, right? And if you're new to Kittle and you want to go ahead and get in here and play like this, um, make sure you check the description box of this video so that you can get my code. That is save you 25% off your first month or first year of their paid pro or expert plan, okay? And I actually have the expert plan. So if your screen or options look a little bit, because I know one of these, like these right here, um, I don't, it's not available for the free, right? So 
I would just go ahead and get it. It is definitely worth it, okay? And I do have a code listed for you in the description box of this video. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and hit search. And let's just do a tumbler. I want one with the straw. Hold on, let me bring this out, make it a little bit bigger. Do 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 uh let's just do this one. Oh, this one's cute. I really like this background. No, let's go and go on. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let me close that up. And the same thing. Bro, it's the same process. Just resize. And again, if you don't want to do a full tumbler design, you can just, you know, get it like that and change your background. Change your background. Whatever color you want. And of course, again, hit this button right here and you can download your markup. And again, I mean, like if this is going to be a different design all around, you can save this one. Go ahead, the same thing we did with the chip bags, you know, edit whatever needs to be edited and show the other side of what the tumbler looked like so that they can get like a full 360 visual of what, you know, their tumbler may actually look like once they get it, y'all. This, man, these tumblers, and that's just those. Okay, so, hmm, okay, let's go back. Let's go back out of here all the way to the other screen. Now, my last video about Kiddo, I showed you guys how to make this design right and we used it to make a graduation fan. Now, we're going to take this design and we're going to go ahead and use it on a t-shirt. I mean, honestly, anything, anything you want to do, really. Uh, but let's just edit this just a little bit, right? So, we're going to go back over here to the elements tab. And y'all, why didn't anybody tell me that Kiddo had like the masks? Right? Like the little text mask things. Like look at all these little things that they have. Ooh, look. They have the little um, paint swatch thing. Okay, so look. We can do that. Take this. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me group everything together. I wonder. Let me see. I wonder if, it, if I can group it and then drop it in there. Yeah, okay. Or if I need to come back and upload this as a PNG. Let's try. Um, didn't I group this? Obviously, I did not do a good job. Okay, anyway, moving on. Let me see. Let me just find another picture. Here's a picture. Bam. Hover over. Drop. You could double click and adjust what needs to be adjust. Adjusted. And look at that. What? Y'all didn't tell me that. Why y'all didn't tell me that? Nobody told me, so I'm telling y'all. And not only do they have, like, the different shapes, they have letters. Look at this. M. Go again. Let's find a photo. And hover. And there's our M. So, like, you know, Mother's Day is coming up. Let me just move all this out the way. Mother's Day is coming up. You know how y'all like to do like the mom shirts or whatever. Look, here you go. You can do it in Kittle. Find you a super cute template and just edit it like this. You can put all the pictures of the kids or the family photos or whatever it is that you wanted to use. And <laughs> you'll be able to do that and create a mock-up, right? Okay, let me show you how to do the mock-up. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, go back to elements. And I, I, I do want that like paints. Is it a paint swatch or is it like a brush stroke? Um, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's cute, 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 cute. I actually kind of like this. I, I like that. I think that's cute. Okay, so let's do all of that. Let's make sides out a little bit. Take it to the back. Let's move it to the back. Ah, oh, look at that. That's cute. Okay. And let's just edit this text to go from the school name. We can say, uh, what can we say? 
proud mom of a and then since we have grad all up and right here proud mom of a 2025 grad that's cute and y'all if you didn't see my last kiddo video of course i'll have it linked for you to go ahead and watch but this came from a kiddo um template a template they already had in their design lab library that i just edited it and obviously i just edited it a little bit more to be able to create this okay so we have our design which is very cute by the way and um let's go to mock-up So we have a shirt. So this is the flat lace shirt. And you just size it, you guys. Just size it. Designing is hard enough. Mock-ups don't need to be hard as well. Right? That is cute. This is so cute. This would be so great to show to your customers. And of course, we can go right over here and change the color of the mock-up absolutely love it and i mean of course i would need let me go back to editor and change this text to white because i do like the way that it looks on that black shirt so i'm just going to go right there and the color is right here and change it to white okay click off mock up change this to black Okay, there we go. And so that's the flat lay. And of course, we can go ahead to one of these where somebody is actually modeling it. I feel like that gives people a better visual as well. Bring that out a little bit. see i like okay so you see how this shirt has like the creases and the wrinkles and things like that i feel like that makes your mock-up look even more realistic because it, it feels as if somebody actually because look the design is going over with the folds i feel like it doesn't look computer generalized or whatever um they may actually think that somebody is modeling this for you of course we can change that background to black and oh i have mom and i have a man modeling <laughs> i should probably change to a woman <laughs> but of course you would go ahead and download that mock-up the same way we've been doing throughout this whole process you guys that's really all there is to it you guys and once you have all your mock-ups saved look here goes all our mock-ups saved as png go ahead and send it to your customers upload it to your websites as an example like whatever it is that you need to do but kiddo definitely made this process a whole lot easier and it's so realistic you guys here's a uh, mock-up of a blanket i actually made my friend this weekend and here's a little clip of the actual blanket like literally looks the same honestly like they do and you see how like right here the fingers how the image isn't like on top of the fingers it actually goes under it i love how realistic these mock-ups are so i think this is a great place for you to go ahead and get your mock-ups not only does it help your customer visualize but maybe you're designing something and you're not sure well maybe would it look better on a black background red purple green you know whatever it is maybe to help you visualize better as far as your design process and things go as well right we're visual people you guys people like pretty things to make it look do what you can to get as many eyes on your business okay nice professional quality this is going to make people trust you make you think you put thought and effort and time and stuff into your work all right so as always guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to use my code jlabyt to save 25 percent off your first paid year or month pro or expert plan for kiddo new users only okay as always thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll see you later